Hey everybody, how's it going? This is Rick and welcome to Rad Garage. Thank you to all of my returning viewers and thank you to you first time viewers who decided to check out what I've got going on in my suburban detailing theater today. So as you can see from the video footage, I've got a Lexus in the garage today. It was brought to me by a guy who really likes my videos. He brought it in to me on Monday night and he's left it with me for two and a half days. And I'm going to be giving it a very thorough once over. So I'm doing a light interior, but on the exterior, I'm doing everything. I'm doing a full decon wash, I'm going to foam it, I'm going to uh, polish it. I have to remove uh, some spray and seal turtle wax uh, coating that he has on there. And uh, once that's removed, I'm going to give it a two stage polish. And I'm also going to be ceramic coating this using C-Quartz Light. So it's a pretty thorough project. I'm pretty excited. It's going to be a lot of work. Uh, hope you stick around. So after spending the better part of three days with this Lexus, I just have to say what a wonderful car this is. I've always enjoyed these cars, I've always liked them, one of my friends has one. Um, but you really get a good sense of just how well put together it is when you spend two and a half days detailing one. The fit and finish is superior, it has so many interesting design elements going on. Uh, I know some of the design choices on this version uh, were a bit polarizing in the in the automotive community, but I'll tell you, it, it, it works. It was a real pleasure to work on. Um, I think the video should do a good job of just translating just how beautiful this car is and how much thought and uh, our creativity went into its design.
Some people will use a symbolism of the relationship of God to the universe. God is a brilliant light, only somehow veiled, hiding underneath all these forms that you see as you look around. So far, so good. But the truth is funnier than that. It is that you are looking right at the brilliant light now. That the experience you are having, which you call ordinary everyday consciousness, pretending you're not it, that experience is exactly the same thing as it. There's no difference at all. In other words, when you really start to see things, and you go into the nature of what it is to see, what vision is, or what smell is, or what touch is, you realize that that vision is the brilliant light of the cosmos.
beautiful. Thank you so much, Rick. Yeah, it was a real pleasure.